Hey guys, I'm still in St. Charles, Illinois, and I'm at a little shop called Trend and Relic. Surround yourself with beauty. How beautiful is that? And this is their entrance. So let's see what they have inside. Okay, it looks like they have a bunch of little shops inside because there's a sign here that says more shops. And they have events here. Oh, how nice. I'm liking that already. So I wasn't sure if this was an antique shop or a vintage shop, but um, I just saw it on a map and I thought, oh, that looks like a cool place. But I don't think it's a discount shop. Because this little purse is $178. <laughs> so I don't think so. But as long as we're here, we're going to enjoy ourselves. And we're going to have a good time looking around. Nothing wrong with that. We don't have to shop in every store we go into. Some stores we can just admire. I need to start knitting again. I've got a lot of nice yarn that right now is just sitting, 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 waiting for me. <laughs> oh my gosh. I've gotten distracted with my channel. <laughs> Normally by now, the knitting needles would be out starting to knit up some Christmas gifts, but I haven't done it yet this year. This is an adorable little shop. Again, not for the thrifter, but, you know, sometimes it's just a little break and a little adventure and you get ideas you get crafting ideas you get holiday decorating ideas you know see what you can replicate on your own using the things that you have at home so there's nothing nothing wrong with that Naughty Dogs Ink. Naughty Dogs Apparel. It felt really soft. So again, this place is called Trend and Relic, and it's in St. Charles, Illinois. And it's got really, really pretty, pretty items. So these are kind of refurbished old radios. So I guess they have some vintage items. So if you're looking for a vintage radio that's been rehabbed, this place might be a place to come. A boobash. Witches Night Out. 20% <laughs> off yeah. most fall. Yeah, they're trying to get ready for Christmas. Sure. Carved wood Christmas trees, $24. This is unique. I could see getting getting something like that for a nice Christmas present. Maybe filling it with like 
nuts and the nutcracker or something like that. Oh, I'm going to say that. Oh, wow, this place is huge. Thinking maybe there might still be some vintage items here. There's a lot of different um, booths. So, no telling what you may find. These are pretty pillows. $34. That's really, really nice wool. Very nice wool. I do know my wools. <laughs> I do know my yarns and my felting. <laughs> few years ago I knitted up some extra large hats and then I felted them and I was really surprised at just how well they turned out and I told myself I would do it again and of course I didn't <laughs> it was a lot of work um, I might get the urge to do it again someday. Original hand painted products. Just see if maybe we might get lucky and find some cool things. Okay, booth sale, 40% off. And now we're talking. This is nice. Not sure what I would do with him, but let's see what else we have. That's Blackhawk, Oregon, Illinois. I've been to Oregon, Illinois. If anybody ever once a getaway not far from Chicago that feels like you're I don't know really far away <laughs> uh, that's a place to go okay so 40% off of 13 five dollars about five dollars off so it's about eight dollars for the candle candle holder. I don't know if the candle comes with it. And these are really pretty frames. What else? What else? A little stained glass window decorations. Those probably aren't considered fall, so I'm thinking those probably aren't on sale. This is a very cool shop. I could see coming back a different day when my agenda wasn't to hit as many stores in a day as possible like it is today, as long as I'm in the area. I could see immersing myself in this place for the whole day. I got another one that's 20% off most fall, but I'm really enamored by this chess set. I do play chess. That's a gorgeous chess set. Oh, we have a little bit of jewelry. Let's see. I bet these are handmade pieces. $18. But I have I have a lot of wooden jewelry right now. It's really nice that I'm trying to sell, so I won't be looking to buy that. That kind of stuff I can get at shopgoodwill.com any day. <laughs> um, so 
I'm in a shop like this, I'm looking for something that I cannot find a good one. It is door knockers. I wouldn't want to bang that little horse's head. What is this? Bottle opener. Oh, now that's different. $18 for the bottle opener. We've got little piggies. Little dogs for 12 So this isn't really a come thrifting with me video. It's more like a come shopping with me video. <laughs> this is an interesting idea. Hmm. Light a candle for your favorite star. <laughs> this one's kind of Christmassy. Now this one looks Vintage. This looks like a haul. Oh, McCoy. All right. It wasn't too far off. So this is kind of a vintage boot. Honor, fame, love, and wealth. They desert us, but thirst is eternal. <laughs> That's funny. Vintage stoneware beer stein, $12. So we found a vintage booth. Yeah, this is a fun place. I could even see this being a place you would take your friends with and just say, hey, let's go spend the day and see what they have. And I can see now why they have those events. Because, you know, walking around this place and doing an event, $68. Flattering deco style strands. I like how that's described. And we have a brooch. What do we have here? Glass ornaments. Two dollars. Two dollars each? These are kind of cute. For two dollars. They don't all seem like glass to me, but I guess they are. They're just painted metal. So that's a bargain, I think. I think that's a bargain for $2. If you wanted to give somebody some glass ornaments as a gift, that would be a fun gift. Oh, look at this. That is gorgeous. Oh, that's gorgeous. Sold to someone with excellent taste. Mm -hmm. I agree. Oh, that's stunning. Do you think it's an old like Victrola? I don't know. That's what it reminds me of. I don't know if that's what it is or not. But it's beautiful. Um, and I think she's got one over there with horses on it. Yeah. yeah. There's some vintage paintings. It looks like this person takes furniture and redoes it. Oh, oh, look at this piece. Wow. Wow, is all I can say. Oh, that's amazing. That is just amazing. 
I am so glad I came here. Some pretty jewelry. They're all in that $25 range. Oh, look at these owls. Oh my heavens, for the owl lover. I know there's owl lovers out there because they contact me wanting to buy owl jewelry. $13. I think that's well worth $13. Lava stone. So somebody recently told me that those were lava stone bracelets. I had a few of these. Oh, well, so now I know. Lava stone chakra bracelets. They're selling them for $13 used with essential oils. Okay, so now I know. I know how those are used and I know what they sell for in the store. <laughs> Because I think I've been selling those for like a dollar <laughs> or two dollars. So I think they will not be one or two dollars anymore. Hey guys. Oh gosh, I shouldn't do that. I've got my credit card on the back of my photo frame. Okay guys, I saw this gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous little box. It is heavy, so you can tell it's well made. Black and white hand carved box, $32. I don't know that I can resist this. I may pick that up before I leave today. That is absolutely a beautiful box perfect for holding jewelry what is this primitive metal bowl with handles 42 dollars pretty little tin a hand card little tray for $22. That's pretty. What does that say? Handcrafted. This gorgeous box. $78. But wow. It's breathtaking. See, I've been at that booth and I did not see that the first time. There's just too much to see. So you miss things left and right. Because I've got one eye on the phone screen and I have another eye looking for what's, what is, what is there? What is there to notice? What is there to see? And so it's easy to miss things. Really easy. <laughs> <laughs> really easy. It's almost like go around once to film and then go around a second time to see. <laughs> ah, I love this. Yep, that's me. <laughs> what do we 
have here. Oh, this, whatever this is, is already breathtaking. $48. That's actually not bad. It's not, I say it's not bad because this wool is probably worth $48. Wool, nice wool, is really expensive. So that is well worth $48. It's a nice vintage purse. It's free. <laughs> I doubt that it's free, but that's really interesting. I'm going to have to ask them how much that is. I mean, I'm sure it's not free. What I mean, I doubt that it's. Okay, what's this? Texture fur peacoat. Black, one side. One size. I'm loving that. I gotta try this on, guys. Okay, well, one size is about four sizes too small for me. That one size is about a size eight. <laughs> well, I speak fluent Italian. Gucci, Prada, Fendi, Versace. And French. Hermes Chanel Dior Saint Laurent. I like those. <laughs> this person has a sense of humor. We have another cute owl. Some Halloween earrings. They're nice, though. They're well made. Okay, let's see what else. Okay, let's see what's in the boutique. Got hats. We've got him. Six dollars leather handbag. We've got clothes. I'm a sucker for red handbags. Oh, it's not bad. Twenty-seven dollars for a leather red handbag. Not bad. And I thought I was walking into a thrift shop. <laughs> I had no idea the treasure of a store I would find. Oh, what is this? A little bit of steampunk. I like this. $24. Oh, I wish I was more crafty with that kind of thing. Because I'm loving that piece. Look at this. Oh, it's a belt. I don't want to drop that. Bucket belt. $45. I mean, I can see why. How cool is that? Okay, guys. So, I am going to go find out how much this little beauty is. 
I'm sure it's not zero dollars. And then I'm gonna go to the next store. I think I'm gonna bypass the little box though. I have a lot of boxes right now. So if you like this video and you wanna see more like it, just hit the subscribe and like buttons and um, helps the channel very much and I will see you soon.